Hello there, um, this is a bit of a more serious video. Um, I've received some hate comments and whilst I don't normally dig in the fun in response, I thought these were both um, tragic and amusing enough to sort of opinionate on. So yeah, these are both from the same guy. Um, they've both since been deleted, not by me. Um, they kind of got flagged before I could get to them myself. Um, so thank you whoever did that. Um, but yeah, um, this was from a guy called Simon. I did click his profile and it seemed to be mostly yoga and stuff, so there was, um, but yeah. Um, his comments were, um, on my last haul video, the January haul, uh, Tranny should not be goth, stick with the Rocky Horror bullshit. Okay, so yeah, most of the goths I know do like Rocky Horror, so um, yeah, so are you saying Rocky Horror is not goth? Um, because um, coming back from um, Maraluna, we had Rocky Horror on the coach and there was dancing in the aisle. And you can kind of see that um, Rocky Horror and goth do go together. So I don't know what you're barking up with that tree. And then we have um, the second one, which was left on the off tag. And you didn't watch it or see my or take any attention to my talk on my history of my, my experience in the golf scene for um, getting on for 17 years now. Uh, he said, "Listen, weirdo, we don't want any faggots or trannies on the golf's YouTube scene, so stick with Lady Gaga." Okay. Um, so, um, where shall we go with this? Again, someone has not been around the golf scene very long, um, or has no idea of really what kind of the golf scene is like. Um, I know quite a lot of bi guys on the golf scene. Um, I know an awful lot of trans women on the golf scene. I also know I have a lot of goths who love Lady Gaga, me included. Um, yeah, just because she's mainly a mainstream act doesn't necessarily mean that goths can't like her. I have likings for quite a few genres and I actually went to what was pretty much the only goth at a pop festival. So yeah, I can do pop. Uh, I see no insult in that. And yeah, I suspect his views of the YouTube goth scene are hot goth girls, preferably in low cut tops or corsets. Um, presses mute so he doesn't have to hear what they have to say and then starts masturbating away and all we are to him is wank fodder so yeah if you're in that way inclined I would probably reconsider what channels you watch maybe go to a porn site um, not an aggregator but um, something like clips like a clip site uh, with lots of good niche goth uh, porn. Um, and the reason I say that is, um, I know a few sex workers, I know people who've done sex work, and pay for your porn. Seriously, pay for your porn. Get some um, decent porn, and fap away to that, and leave people who don't really put themselves on the internet for that, in that regard, to get on with their videos in peace. And secondly, um, if you don't know about the history of trans and the goth scene, or particularly in the UK goth scene, it used to be the case that uh, trans people were not welcome in gay or lesbian bars around Soho, you know, in the mainstream sort of. Uh, one club did make them welcome, and that was Slimelight. You know, the long, one of the world's longest running goth clubs and they still maintain that to this day. Trans people are very much welcome in Slimelight. And uh, also, generally, trans people are generally welcome on the golf scene everywhere um, in the UK, uh, from my experience. Don't recall having any hassle as such. I say not to say there isn't going to be the odd arsehole out there because, you know, goths are people the same as everyone else. There are going to be people who are not very nice they are best ignored. And you kind of see what I mean by goths and trans kind of are quite interlinked in the UK. So why you're saying I should get out of the goth scene it's because I am a goth who happens to be trans 
is it doesn't matter. I've been got far longer than I've been an out trans woman. Um, just because I come out of trans, should I suddenly give up my music tastes, my friendships, and everything else that I have gained over the years? Um, I don't think so. And it's not going to be an elitist thing either because um, I actually know some very elitist goths and they defend trans women to the hilt. Um, I know there is a bit of friction in Whitby with, um, but that's mainly because a lot of the fetish trans community have sort of latched on that to, to that and sort of wander through the town wearing something inappropriate uh, but to say they don't get hassle from the goths as such it's more a case of if you're wearing a skirt that's so short panties exposed and or other things exposed then yeah please don't um i get this in also in a couple of um a member of a couple of trans fashion groups for promoting the blog in ge my, my online content in general and the number of times you see people post you know despite the fact it says no panties no smut They'll post it, uh, they'll literally spam literally any group with trans mentioned in it or any even not trans, even vanilla groups um, with pictures of their penises. You know, that's kind of not really anything to do with goth and I've completely wandered off on a tangent, um, as I tend to do. Um, so yeah, before I waffle too much more, um, I might leave, leave it there. Yeah, I shall speak to you very soon. Um, I have a couple of videos lined up. Um, so a couple more sort of more makeup and beauty stuff related. Um, but in the meantime, I shall see you in the next video.